I'm Elisa. And I'm Kira. And you're watching Polymer Clay TV. You can find us online at PolymerClayTV.com. And you can find us at PolymerClayClassroom.com. So enjoy the show. Hi everybody, welcome back to Polymer Clay TV. Today we're talking about some of the Jones Tones glitters. And they come in a wide variety of colors. As you can see, this is just a small sampling. So you can get them in all colors, everything from gold to blue to pinks to dark blue. There's some gray greens, even a yellow, and there's even a black. So there isn't much you can't do with these. I like to add them to clay, and they get a nice shimmer when you add it to the clay. But there is a few that I have in here that are a little bit different, and they're called crystals. And let's see if I, let me open this for you so you can see a little better. These are more like little pieces, um, like a dash almost, of um, glittery mylar. So they look a little different in your clay than the regular glitter does because the glitter is finer, and these are more like little pieces, as you can see here. So you can do some really different things with these. I like to use these in resin, and that gives it a really cool look. Um, so that's just a little something different that you can do. And they come in a variety of colors. This is actually a gold holographic one, which is gorgeous. You can see that. Well here, let me move these out of the way. These are some pieces I did. It might be a little hard to see it on the black, but I'm gonna show you how I did them. Let me just move all these glitters away and we'll get started with that. I'm just using Primo Clay today and these are just some pieces that I've rolled out flat and I don't know if you can quite see this but I've added some of the silver glitter and a little bit of the blue glitter to this black clay and on this one I've used some of the crystals so it's a bigger piece that ends up in there. But I'm going to show you We'll uh, start, let me start with some of the pearl clay because you might be able to see it better. You just condition your clay and I like to just roll it out flat. You don't have to be exact with this because right now we're just going to add the different glitters or crystals to it. Let's start with the crystals. These have a top that flips open as you just saw and has just a little pouring section right there so it makes it real easy to pour it out. And you just pour as much as you want. The thing is with this, I start with a little because I don't like it to be too much. I just like it to be an inclusion so that, you know, it sparkles through it. Like right now you can't even see it. So I just like to pull it apart so that it distributes it a little bit better and knead it back together, of course. And I think I'm going to need a little more, so I'm going to just add some more. And that's what I do. I'd like to just start with a little and then add more. That way I don't overdo that it looks garish, you know. You want it to look nice and subtle. Unless you're working on a project where you want it to really stand out, you know, then you just use even more. So, let's see how this looks. That looks pretty. Let me condition it back together and roll it out so you can see. So, as you can see, it's very subtle. This is just the gold holographic one. And you can continue to build on that. You can add other colors. So let's do that. Let's add, let's add a little yellow, because that's going to be subtle too. And with it being spring, you know, that'll look nice. So I just sprinkle it. They have the same kind of top on the glitter as they do on the crystal. And the one thing you have to remember, though, is not to add too much where it compromises the strength of your clay. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So I'm just kneading it in, and I can pick up whatever extras on my table. So that it's kind of an easy cleanup there. So just condition it in. Now this is also holographic. This this yellow, so it's subtle, but really pretty. So here you've got the crystals 
which are in gold, and then I've got the yellow glitter. So the glitter kind of sits in the background, and the crystals are, you know, bolder, so you can see those more. But you can get some really gorgeous effects, and, and like I said, just keep adding to it, and, and you know, you'll get even more, obviously. And I like to tear it apart, too. I just think it distributes it better. And let's see what that looks like with a little extra. So don't be afraid to mix and match colors because you never know what you're going to come up with. And here that is. And I could add more glitter if I want as well. But you can really, you know, do some neat effects with this. And then you can stamp into the clay. You can even add some powdered pigments. You can add ink. Anything you want to do. But this gives it a nice background to work with. So, and depending on what color you use, you're going to get a different effect, obviously. So let's take the same exact colors that I used on the pearl clay, and let's put them into black. And you'll see what a, you know, what a difference you can get with just based on the color of your clay. And I'm being a little more generous with this because I want it to show. And look how, just look at how pretty that looks on the black. And these are the crystals, which are bigger, obviously, than the glitter. It's just a cool look. And I, you know, you could actually leave it on the surface if you didn't want it to go into the clay. So depending on the look you're going for, you know, just think about that. If you want it on the surface, actually I thought these crystals would make some neat hair. Like if you're making hair, just sprinkle it on the hair, kind of do a real neat thing like that. So here this is with the, with the gold. And I would need to put a little more, I think, because that's not as much as I would like. So, like I said, you can keep layering up. But let's add this, this same yellow into this clay. And actually, on one of our videos, Kira used a yellow glitter to make peeps. If you know those marshmallow candies that come out around the holidays now. And so that's a good color to use for peeps. And this one's holographic, so I just love the way it looks. So... Just knead it back into the clay. Keep conditioning it in there. So let me roll this one out. And try to keep your lids closed when you're not working with them so it doesn't go everywhere. It just make your life easier. So here we have that. It might be a little hard to see. Here we go. That has some of the gold in it and some of the yellow glitter. So as you can see, you're going to get two totally different looks depending on what color clay you use. So you just want to have fun with it and, and try. Try all kinds of colors. I mean, these are very inexpensive. I think they're only a few dollars. And you can get them at the Jones Tones website, which is jonestones.com. We'll flash it up on the screen so you guys can write it down and check it out. And just play around with all the different colors and you'll be amazed at what you can come up with. So just have fun with it.